Good evening and welcome to Sports Thursday. I'm Julian Gibson from the National Family Island Regatta. They started sailing for points today after the cup races took place yesterday. In the first C-class race, it was H2O skipped by Effort Camp coming in first. Now in the B-class race, it was Lady Sonia skipped by Buzzy Roll coming in first. Second, the Andrews Heathcliff. Third, the Lonesome Dove. Now in Class A, it was the Tidal Wave coming in first today. Well, all systems are go for the second annual Berta's Go-Go Ribs New Providence Primary School Sports Association track and field championships. It will all get started this coming Monday at the Thomas A. Robinson Track and Field Stadium. Charles Fisher has all the details. April 30th through May 2nd at the Thomas A. Robinson Track and Field Stadium. The second annual Bertha's Go-Go Ribs in association with the New Providence Sporting Association. It's all for the marbles. And we in the Primary Principals Association, we are pleased to be a part of this exciting venture. I want to say that we endorse it wholeheartedly. We know that when our children participate in sporting activities, it helps to develop the whole child. And we believe that all of our children should be exposed. This a partnership between the New Providence Primary School Sports Association, the Ministry of Education, and Bertha's Go Go Ritz. We're just so delighted to be a part of this track meet again this year. We feel as though whenever we invest in our youth, especially in sports, it can definitely impact the entire community and produce a better society. And we're just so honored to be a part of it. And as you partner with each other, and as students participate in the event, we are hoping that it is one of the greatest events that we will see stage uh, in primary school sports for, for uh, decades. I'd like to appeal to all parents and thank them for their usual support of our sporting events and we look forward to them coming and being a part of this sports meet. The gun will sound 9 o'clock Monday morning for the start of the second annual Bertha's Go-Go Ribs New Providence Primary School Track and Field Championships. See you there. For ZNS Toll Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. The sport of soccer getting a boost this weekend with the start of the Austin and Santos Soccer Tournament. According to our Ricardo Lightburn, there are high expectations. Promoting soccer in the Bahamas is the theme. Michael Santos says it's an honor for Grand Bahama to recoup its soccer season and also with players from Abaco New Providence coming to town. We're hoping that this, this tournament is going to give board to a feeder program for each team. That means uh, basically is each team is going to have a youth arm um, in, the, in, the, in the club. And um, the old guys like myself and the others, um, when we hang up our boots, those guys are going to um, take over and have the, the, the clubs running and, and, and in a sustainable way. The tournament will be played in honor of the late Clarence Bellard, who played and sponsored teams in the GBFL. Photo Factor is a major sponsor. Fiona Daniels is excited. Our founder, my father, Clarence Bella, was passionate about the sport and we would like to do anything that we can to contribute to its growth in Grand Bahama. Paul Massam is the chief official and also the tournament will give an opportunity to actually broaden the official base and to the players. Fear play, fear play, fear play, that's something that FIFA stresses. And if we keep fear play going, we'll have good game, no costs, no fight and then we'll have good football in the Grand Bahama again. Well, two fast pitch games in the New Providence Softball Association tonight at the Bankers Softball Field, so if you like softball, you can check it out. Well, that's all the time for Sports on a Thursday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Stay tuned. Vasily is coming back with your better forecast.